All right, guys, it is time for my first ever fantasy sim video series. We are going to be taking over the Ottawa Senators. We are going to do a full rebuild, both the AHL and the NHL, and see if we can't rebuild these Senators into something of a powerhouse within about four to five years. We're going to set some goals each year and we're going to get some input from you guys every week or every episode to see if we can't improve the team and what you guys think that i should do so without any further ado let's jump into the start of the ottawa senators the one thing i do want to mention is i'm using Tugi. if you don't know who Tugi is he's probably one of the best franchise guys in the game he also has an insane roster doc that took me five full days to input and it changed i went and i thoroughly changed all of the rosters the potentials everything that he set to to make it a lot more realistic as, as well as over 200 new prospects so i did all that and then I, put, I turned off Fog of War. While I think it's a cool feature in the game for this series, I don't want to be wasting a ton of time trying to scout already NHL players. So uh, other than scouting, that's all normal. So let's jump into our Ottawa Senators and see what we can do and if we can't actually improve them and get them on the right track. Now, I do need to mention, I do have a couple goals that I want to do with this team specifically. I want to rebuild them, and I want to make it realistic, okay? I don't want to be... You know, um, trading everyone uh, and trying to work the CPU as far as trades go. If I'm offered something, maybe I'll take it, but I'm not going to be, you know, working the CPU as much as I can to get a million first round picks. That's just not what I'm going to do. So, first things first, we need to look at our lines. So, we've got, uh, we're going to, so for the first year, I do need to mention, we're going to sim quite a lot probably the, i'll do the entire first season we are going to fail fail hard that is the goal i want to do as bad as possible but for any moves near the deadline things like that there are contracts we want to move for picks so i will stop there but other than that we're just going to get right through this season because the season is kind of a lost year um that brings me to one of my first goals for this video or this year specifically first things first we want to get lafreniere or byfield we're getting one of the two i don't care how i don't care if i have to trade multiple first round picks we are going to do as bad as we possibly can because those are two franchise players to go along with keith kachuk shabbat and we're going to need those one of those two guys so again i will get one of them no matter what um, i also want to move the bobby ryan contract i don't care what i take on or what i move him for if anyone will give me anything i want to move on from bobby ryan's contract well i don't think he's a terrible player the contract that he's on for like eight mil is just a it's just a joke so for this one <clears throat> we're going to turn it on so if we look over the roster real quick we've got obviously brady kachuk second line forward an elite medium elite perfect they did just get vladimir nemesnikov and he is a plus three on this line everyone else i really don't care about other than colin white who again does have top six forward high potential so i do kind of want him up in the lineup as best he can uh, i don't know if i get yeah we'll put him here and even in Misimov isn't a bad player by any stretch of the imagination, but he's just not going to be a part of our plan. So we're going to leave it like this and see, actually, can, will there go up? Let me just see if I can get their chemistry to go up anymore. No, because uh, uh, that is super important. But for the most part, we're just going to leave the lineup alone. On defense, Shabbat is the mainstay, and he is the most important player Um I wouldn't mind moving Zaitsev's contract, but we do need some sort of defense, so I'm okay with keeping him for a while. And then, obviously, in net, we've got Anderson and Anders Nielsen. We need to have a project goalie, so that might be something I look for in the draft in the later rounds. Um, so let's take a look also at our special teams. Power play Let's do power play. Yep, Kachuk is on it with Shabbat. That's all I really care about. Again, guys, those are the only things that I really want to do. As we take a look at the coaching staff that we've gotten given, uh, Bustad is an A-minus coach who is 86 potential and is an A-plus in teaching. Perfect. I'm okay with him. Everyone else here, uh, as far as scouts go, or sorry, coaches go, um, they're, they aren't terrible. And then scouts, I'm just going to set these to... Yeah, we'll just let them do auto-searching for this one because, again, we know who we want to find in that first draft essentially <clears throat> and i can assign those off off camera as well so 
For this one, we also need to take a look at our AHL team. There's only one player that I really care about in the AHL. Well, two. So Josh Norris, who is playing first line center. So I'm completely okay with that. And let's see if we can't. Uh, yeah. Paul makes that a plus three, so that's fine. Uh, Josh Norris is important as is. We're going to have to get rid of Labry. Because they've got oops, Brandstrom, who I need to send down. I don't want him in the NHL this season. We're going to send him down. I don't want him up at all, so we are going to move him down. I want him to play first line minutes in the AHL to try and get as much of a development as he possibly can um, this year. So we'll move him down. And perfect. Okay. Okay, so we'll edit lines. Change that up. AHL, defense, and library for Eric Brandstrom, who is going to be another one of the key pieces on our team. Uh, again, England is okay, perfect. And then in net, we've got for the AHL Hogberg and Cord. Hogberg isn't terrible, so we'll see how he develops as well. Uh, everything else, as far as free agents, I don't really want to sign anyone, but there is someone I want to do. I'd rather get it over with quickly, and that is moving on the Bobby Ryan contract because, like I said, Eight million, close to eight million for three more years. Um, I'm, I do not want that. So, let's see if we can find a trade for Bobby Ryan, and we can. There is one, two third round picks in 2021 for Bobby Ryan. We are 100% going to accept that, and Detroit is bad enough to actually be able to afford that. So we lost out on Bobby Ryan, but again, I don't care. If we look at their lines now. Let's take a peek. And we've got Duclair over here, which is a plus one. Can we move up Colin White at all? Let's call him White's face off. Whoops. 75, that's not bad. Can I put him up on the first line? I wouldn't mind calling White up on the first line with Kachuk, just to see if he can grow. I really don't care about wins at all. So it's uh, it's no matter to me. And we'll put Nemesnikov there. On defense, we've got Borowiecki, Zaitsev, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. So we are good to go. There's only one other thing that I want to do, and that's set our captains. Um, you know, I'm going to leave this one up to you going into next year, but who do you guys think our captain should be? Should it be Brady Kachuk or Shabbat? Um, I kind of want to make it one of those guys because they are going to be the leaders of this franchise. But I will leave it to you guys, up to you guys for this video. So leave your comments down below. Tell me who you think I should make the captain of our Ottawa centers and the alternates. And we'll go with what you guys decide as long as it's not a troll. <laughs> Other than that, we'll do we'll edit our trade block. So Borowiecki and his third round pick. So... First of all, as far as players go, who are we okay with moving? Let's take a look at our contracts. Here's left on the contracts. We have Nemesnikov, Duclair, DeMello. We'll put Bodker there. As well as... Oops, okay. As well as Sturt Gendron, England, Paul, a lot of AHLers, Shabbat, Tyranny, Ennis, Borowiecki. We'll put Borowiecki there. And then lastly, let's try. I kind of wouldn't mind signing Connor Brown again, just because we need bottom six players as well. And in the end, he's going to be that for us. I do like Tyranny. I'm a Sharks fan, so I'm okay with him. As well as Jay Peugeot or Hainsey. Let's see if anyone can get Hainsey. As far as wants go, we want guys under. Uh, let's take a look here. Forward, second line forward. Actually, you know what? We'll just remove this. Say we just want picks. We'll go add any, any forward, and we'll make him under 25. And there we go. 
And we'll also go defenseman. We literally need everything, so this isn't going to be a big problem here. 25. And goaltender as well. Again, trying to find someone a little bit younger so that we can have a project goalie. And then we want current picks. Yes. And surplus, we'll just, yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's take a look. This trade block is set. If we do look at the draft class, again, there's two players that we really, really want, and that's Lafreniere and Quentin Byfield. One of those two, obviously, Byfield being the center does help because, well, Kachuk is a left winger, whereas Lafreniere also a left winger, but either one of these two would be sweet to grab. <clears throat> So we'll watch him, and again, we're going to be drafting into this high range, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Alexander Holtz, watch list, marking in, watch list. Perfetti, watch list. Okay, perfect. So let's get on with the season here, guys. Upgrade maintain the owner goals I don't really care about. So we can go ahead and advance to the regular season. Again, this this season is not going to be anything special. I'm going to sim almost all of it. I don't really care. The new season's gonna have to accomplish. Clear my expedition. View owner goals. Want 14 sellouts. Want us to beat the Leafs in our first meeting. Team needs to team store needs to be a little nicer, and we need club seats. So upgrade the club seats as well as the team store. And 14 sellouts. I feel like it's probably going to be tough to sell out 14 games with these ones, but um, whatever. All right, so we do have some trade offers already for Borowiecki. Um I want something a little bit better for him. Third and fourth round picks, it's whatever. We'll auto assign the promotion nights. See if we can. Here we go. Big offer here. Second and a six for a ton of draft picks. No thank you. I feel like we're going to get a ton of offers here. Vegas Golden Knights and Borowiecki. No. Might have to readjust this, yeah, because it's two second rounders for Borowiecki, who is on a one-year expiring deal. I'm trading two-thirds for two seconds. Ooh, don't mind that's a Pittsburgh Penguins second. No, we'll, we'll just see. Keep going. We'll see. It looks like we're going to get an offer every few minutes, so. There are goals. Perfect. That's fine. Reason you want to sign scouts. Currently scouting, yes. And we will do the Q. I want the, whoops, one second. I want to scout specific players in the Q. Scout specific, and we want Lafreniere is being scouted. So that's fine. Okay, as long as Lafreniere is being scouted. And our OHL scout will also do scout specific, and we want Quentin Byfield. Yep, as well as for skill assessment okay so that takes care of that and let's keep going see what we can get here so we are at the start of the season they do want us to win that first game but uh we'll see ottawa Senators versus the leafs see if we can't give them a little bit more trouble sim through the first period it is zero zero after two, it is Tyler Ennis scoring against the former Leafs, or his former team, the, the Leafs. And let's go through the third period, and it is 2-1. We get our first win of the year. Chris Tierney getting the game-winning goal. Tavares score, also scoring for the Leafs. We'll do Ottawa stats. How did that one look? So Wallen and Tierney, Bonker, Ennis, and Colin White get on the board. Not bad at all. So that was the only game that really mattered because, well, that's what the owner wanted. Good job and perfect. So we passed that. We can now go ahead and sim. So we'll do. Uh, we'll go through the month here. Again, we want to do as bad as possible, guys. If we're cruising and get you know a couple wins, we might have to make some moves, call some players up. As we're three and zero, which is a big problem. Four and zero, not what we want. What is happening? These sends can't be stopped. 
Oh my lord. All right, we finally get a loss. We're five and one. Five and two. Let's go on a loss here. Here we go. Five and three. Perfect. Things are starting to go the way we want. Borowiecki and a Red Wings third for Anderson and a fourth. We'll decline that. And we'll keep going along here. Red Wings third. Ottawa third. No, nope, same trade. I don't want that. And as we collapse near the end of the month, which is perfect in fifth in the division. All right, and after the first month, perfect as far as team leaders in stats. We've got Brady Kachuk with 10 points, followed by Duclair. Where is Pajot, though? Or, sorry, Shabbat, four, with Colin White getting four as well. So that's less than ideal, but at least Kachuk is doing well. In the AHL, we're 6-1-1, one, one, where Josh Norris is leading the team in points, he's having a great season so far, which is fantastic. It's what we want, as well as we look at defense. Branstrom is doing great as well. Perfect. So things are looking swell from a standpoint. We're not winning. We probably won too many than we wanted to, but let's go ahead and we will sim all the way until we'll go through just all the way to January with this next one. So again, we need some losses here as so they start to pile up. Another shootout loss to Boston. <sighs> Coach, we need a veteran presence on the team is what he says. Hmm. Can we persuade? It's 50-50. <sighs> okay, I think we can do that for him. He just wants some veteran presence. Sign someone, a veteran over 30. Okay. I like the idea. I'll go do that for you. Good, I'll check back in two weeks. All right. So let's go and see if we can't sign somebody that's over 30 that can help this team out. So if we go to team management and go to free agents, make our coach happy because this coach is fantastic as far as what he's offering. Dion Phaneuf wants a $1 million, or sorry, wants a $1 million one-year deal. 34 years old, fits the bill. And he was an ex sen so I guess we can offer him a one-year deal as a depth option. I don't care because it's only one mil, and I don't care if he plays because he's not going to take Shabbat's spot on the first. The rest of the defense, I really don't care about. Zaitsev, no. So we'll just advance a couple days here to make sure. As we take another L, and do we lose to Carolina? We do not for one win there. Dion Phaneuf is extremely happy to accept your offer. Perfect. So we did do that for him, and we'll let that go. So let's take a look. Uh, I believe he went down to the AHL in the system. Dion Phaneuf will call up. We have to send someone down first, so we will send down. Who are we sending down? Is Schwarz in the lineup? Twenty-one forwards. Yeah, we'll do largely. Oh, of course, we're gonna be under the salary cap if we send him down. Okay, what's our salary cap at right now? We can only do. I think this is still too much yet. All right, so let's do a trade real quick, as that kind of sucks. Jalmerson, Studnika, is there a terrible contract for a year? Hmm. Contract we could take on that would be brutal. How much longer? That really bad Tyler Johnson. Too expensive. Pat Maroon. Why is he valued so high? Holy smokes. Jan Ruda, 1.3 million. But again, I really don't want to have to take that on. You know what? We'll leave it. And Actually, we can go to the trade block, see if there's anyone. We'll browse the trade block. That's the one thing about getting rid of Bobby Ryan is we're right up against the cap floor. Jalmerson has two years left. We're looking for someone on an expiring deal. Buffalo. Zach Bogosian would fit that bill. 
He's 29 years old with Scandella or Matt Hunwick. His salary is 2.4. Let's see if we can get a pick out of him. We take on Matt Hunwick. They also want to. Let's see if a lot of pick in. Hmm. The fourth for what? Would a fifth do it? Probably not, eh? Let's remove that. Would a fifth round pick work? Or a player that I don't care about? Let's do matching block. Skater's matching block. Hmm. Pinto. Other four, top six, low. Probably not going to be coming. Anyway. We could do Pajot. What's he getting paid? Hmm. Pajot's making uh, too much. We don't want to lose even more. We wouldn't be able to get to the floor. Schwartz. That would do. He's 28. Not going to become anything. Just look up. Seven to make this work. Don't care about a seventh round pick, and we'll see if they accept that. Perfect. Okay. Again, don't really care about that. We just want to make our coach happy because I don't want him to go anywhere. So now I should be able. Hunwick, perfect. He is. How old Matt Hunwick? 34. Well, we did technically, so we can leave FNUF down there. As long as FNUF doesn't impact Brandstrom. Defense, and he does, so we don't want that. To be honest, we'll actually just call him up as well. We can send down. LaJoy, and we will call up Dion Phaneuf. There's your pres defensive presence. We'll go best lines. And morale at an all-time low, but that's good. We want them to lose. <laughs> I want Norris on that first line. Threw it off Balsers. Kachuk, Duclair, Brown. I wouldn't mind calling wiping up further. Whoops. That's fine. And then, actually, the last thing, just need to make sure that Brandstrom is still first line on defense, which he is not. Please, I will scratch you if I have to. And let's get back to the sim here. Okay, so we did what our coach wants. Hopefully that does improve his morale. And we'll go all the way to January 1st unless there's more trades to be done. Start conversation. Perfect. Thank you. Glad I could help. Perfect. Morale plus five, which you love to see. Another shootout win. We don't want that. Another win. We need to start losing. Dominic Manson from the... Syracuse Crunch, 23 years old, 7D medium. No, don't need him. As we get some more log. Review this draft class briefly. Let's win a good year for rookies. I agree. Again, we need Byfield or Lafreniere. It would be incredible if we got both. Although I don't see that happening. 10 and 10. We are sixth in the division. This The Rangers, uh, sorry, the Sabres and Panthers behind us, which is tough. Again, we just need a ton of losses coming up. But I feel like once we dump our... Ooh. I don't know if I want to give a Borwecki and Ennis. For two picks. We'll decline that. I don't know if I want to give up both. Wall and Zirkles and a sixth. Decline that as well. Wall would not be good enough, I don't think. All right, let's take a look at our draft, the draft board here. Lafreniere at number one, no surprise there. We got Lucas Raymond, who's a medium elite. Kay Garodov, a medium elite. And then Quentin Byfield, who's an unknown. We'll get him. Stoltz is a medium elite. It's a good year for those top-end players. 
13, 13, and 3. We need to take some more L's. But as we, like I said, once we get closer to the trade deadline, we are going to be moving as many one year contracts as we can. As we're finally starting to take some L's well below 500 now. As we win two of the last three, there we go. Lost to Philly. The Panthers are still behind us in the division um, by about five points. So a couple losses here would be big. Um, Zircles for Ennis. No. I don't want a medium top nine. Loss there and back-to-back -back losses. Pff, we did beat the Penguins. Panthers is a big game. We need to lose to the Panthers. January 1st, let's take a look at what's going on as far as our team. As Brady Kachuk is almost a point-per-game player. That's perfect. That's really what we want to see out of him. Uh, 32 pims and is a plus player bodker behind him and duclair with almost a point per game pace as well shabbat about a 40 goal pay or 40 point pace which isn't terrible um i'm okay with that let's take a look around the league as um we see how the rest of the league is doing leading the league in points obviously Connor mcdavid and dry Seidel, phil kessel in the desert with Giroux, kuznetsov and ovechkin all of all these guys are above um, point per game pace so that is cool to see as among defensemen let's take a look carlson with 45 gosses bear with 37 then we've got burns and carlson at 35 and 40 so shabbat having kind of a tough year goaltenders let's take a look leading the league in wins is hellebuck and then we'll do save percentage and we're looking at martin jones <laughs> Well, that can't be accurate at all. My lord. And lastly, we'll take a look at rookie skaters. Capo Caco with 34 and 39, and Jack Hughes with 27 and 36. So it does look like Capo's got the um, the inside track there. Sam Steele, Colin White with 15 and 40 for us, and Quinn Hughes for 13 and 40 there. So it looks like Caco is running away with it. As far as teams go, let's take a look at where we are. So if we go entirely, because we do need to see the Sharks are on top, right behind the Bruins. Uh, let's take a look. I want to go all the way down. Who's in last? The Devils by quite a bit, and we are not anywhere near. So we have 39 points. Last place is 31. We need to lose some games here, guys. So we need to start moving out contracts ASAP. Because, like I said, we need to lose a lot. So if we go and look at our team, how much of the cap are we at? So the floor... Um, I need to see the trade floor. We'll do one of you contracts. We have 18 million cap hits. I'm projected these other cap spent. Okay, perfect. So we can move some guys, and we do need to move um, Borwecki as well, as which we are getting a ton of offers for. So we'll sim a couple weeks here, see what we can go after. Again, I'm, I'm okay with just moving guys out. I don't really necessarily need prospects back or anything if we can. And we do beat the Panthers, which is tough. And another win to the Lightning. Okay, let's take a look here. Where we're getting, um, you know what, we're going to stop this and we're going to move Borowiecki. We keep getting offers for him. Let's see straight up what we can get for Borowiecki. Find trade. And let's move him. He does need to go and we can get, where is he? Man, he's low. Let's take a look. And we've got 10 offers. Two picks from the Coyotes. A third and a fourth from the Bruins. A third and a fourth from the Stars. A third and a fifth from the Oilers. Ko Konovalov, a goaltender who's a low starter potential and a fourth rounder. Two fourths from the Florida Panthers who are doing terrible, so that's not bad. And the Rangers, Blues, a third and a fifth. The Leafs, a third and a fourth. And a third. Is there any second rounders? I don't believe so. Two fourths. I am going to take the two fourths from the Panthers because they are doing so bad. Plus, they might get a little bit better with Borowiecki being on their team. So we'll move him and we'll see who's going to fill his spots. I just don't want it to be. Brandstrom is off. So if we look at the defense, and it is not. Okay, we still have enough Walden Zaitsev, which is terrible. 
And Brandstrom is playing on his off wing, which you don't like to see. But you know what? That's fine. How many points do you have? 18 points in 35 games played is a minus one. That's not bad. All right, so I'm okay with that. What other contracts can we move out? We'll sim ahead another week as the Belleville Senators are doing quite well, which is good to see. We'll go another week here for the deadline. Let's see what we can do, see what we can get here. I'm concerned about our lack of scoring. Well, no duh. After 43 games, we have a serious lack of goal production. I agree, need more time. Persuade. Um, persuade. You know what? You're right. Perfect. Thank God, because I wasn't going to get more scoring. We need to lose, man. We need to lose. You're not going anywhere. You're a good coach. As we shoot out loss. There we go into the loss. Perfect after that Borowiecki trade. And a 6-3 win. 4-2 loss. We do need to move Hainsey. As we're still winning. We're above... Almost above 500. F 50 points. That's, we're nine still up on the Devils and the Kings. Yeah, we really need that top pick. Um, all right, let's see what else we can move. So we'll go to team management and we'll find a trade. And we'll look and see what other guys that we can move from our lineup. They got years left on their deals. Duclair might be one. I believe he is a free agent at the end of this year. Tyranny, Nemesnikov, Duclair. Let's see what we can get for Duclair. Because I wouldn't mind resigning him, but a first rounder. Hmm, that might be a, that might be a decent pick here. Afanasiev. New York Rangers second and fourth, Lundmark, low top 4D, third and fourth, second and a third. I think that first rounder is what we want to go, so we'll do him. We'll accept that deal. And Vladimir Nemestnikov's pissed off, but I don't really care. We'll keep going here as we go down the list. Of guys that are on one-year deals, let's see if anyone wants Hainsey. No trades found for Hainsey. What about Anisimov? Who is actually he's on a two-year deal, so I'm fine with keeping him. Bodker. What is what is, is there anyone that wants Bodker? Gotta be. No trades found for Bodker. Really? What about Ennis? Anything for Ennis? Probably not, as he's worse than Bodker. We do. Anderson, third and a fourth. Second and a third. Second and a third. Luchik. We'll do... Let's take a look here. What do we got? Is there any prospects matching these guys? Let's take a look here. Guys that they're really willing to get of. Rookie skaters. Matching block. Skaters matching the block. Abramov. Robertson. Nope. Let's take a look. Cal Foot, not in our wheelhouse. Radish. Ooh, Radish wouldn't be bad. But I think that might be out of our wheelhouse as well. Tons of guys available here. As they're looking to get those sharks. Ryan Merkley. We can't afford him. Gambrell, I would like. Um, Pittsburgh, Tanev. Frost. Yeah, right. We're not getting him. DiGiuseppe. Komarov, Clutterbuck, they're trying to get rid of... Yeah, nothing here. Tomasino from my Ice Dogs. It's a medium top six. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him, though. Hmm, I would love to get him as he is from my hometown, Niagara Ice Dogs. Because I think we're just going to have to deal with picks here, which is okay. I'm all right with it. But we do need to move some of these guys, so... I would love to move Chris Tierney, but I kind of want to resign him. Hmm. Batherson. There's no one looking for Bodker, huh? Really? Okay, well, we got to move Venice then. 
as well as Nemesnikov, who's an 82 overall at 37 years old. Uh, let's see if anyone wants Nemesnikov. I don't think he's part of our future, so no trades found for Nemesnikov. Okay. We'll, we'll move Ennis then. And we will take the second and the third from the Boston Bruins. So Logan Brown gets called up. I'm okay with that. DeMello is expiring. That's okay. Hainsey, whatever. Balls are... Pajot. Who we need to meet for. Now, what about in net? I didn't think about that because Anderson's having a pretty good season from what I remember. Yeah, 903, 20 wins. What about Nielsen? Oh, he's having a rough go. Let's see if we can get anything for Anderson. No trades found. I didn't think so. Okay. All right. So that's all for the moves that we're going to need there. Um, I'm okay with that. If we look at what picks we do have available going into this draft, I know we have a ton from just, you know, authentic picks, but we've got two first rounders in the Sharks and Sins. That's going to be a late pick. Then we've got four second rounders if we want to move up, which we might have to if we want to take um Lafreniere uh, if we don't win the lottery of course and we don't start failing we have a ton of picks and we have two first rounders next season as well so we are set up pretty well so let's go ahead and sim through the trade deadline or sim up to the trade deadline so we need to go on a losing streak here guys there's no way around it as we get another win followed by a loss Another win. I don't understand how we're still winning. 25-23. Big trade alert, as it looks like. Edmonton is going for it by trading a first Jones and a second for Jared Spurgeon and Hunt. Picking up Jared. First and a second for Mike Green and Alex being a good trade for Detroit. As they pick up some picks. Oh, my God. Sammy Blay. For two third rounders, for a third and a fourth. What's Blay look like? Top nine medium, 77 overall is 23. Ugh, don't need him for picks. That's not someone we need. We need to move up, if anything. Three, nothing win. This is worst case scenario, guys. We are winning way too much as Palmieri goes to the Buffalo Sabres for Scandella and some picks. Big loss there. As we're fourth in the fifth in the division, which is awful. Shootout loss. Another loss to Arizona. Big loss there. That's perfect. Another loss. Here we go. We're on a bit of a losing streak. And we get back on the win with Dallas. And another win against the Sabres. This is terrible. Taylor Hall to the Blackhawks for Corey Crawford, a first and a seventh. And Chris, oh my lord, the Blackhawks. Hello? Unbelievable. Jake Dotchin. Big fat Jake Dotchin, who was cut by the Lightning for being out of shape. No, thank you. Lost to the Canadians Pro Scout. I don't care. We've moved who we want to move as we lose to the Blue Jackets as it stands right now. Brady Chuck was hurt. That's fine. He has 58 points in 63 games, which is fantastic for us, to be honest. Now, this episode is going to run a little bit longer just because it is uh, my first one. And I just want to, normally episodes are going to be around 30 to 40 minutes. But for this one, eh, we're just going to get through the first season. So let's just go ahead and get all the way to the end. This sucks for us. But maybe Belleville can make the playoffs go to a little bit of a run. So let's see. Lost to, this, to Nashville. Win against the Canucks. We need some losses. Shootout loss. Keep current prices is fine. Season tickets, that's fine. Another loss. All right, we're 30-31. Win against the Sharks, which sucks. Win against the Ducks. Win against the Kings. Oh, my Lord. And the Taylor Hall Blackhawks we also beat. Are we going to make the playoffs at this point? Like, ooh, this did not go well. We won way too many games. I guess we're just being well coached. And our pick is going to get crushed because of it. 
We are going to try and do everything we can throw the house to get Lafreniere. As we've won 40 games. Are we going to hit the 40 game plateau? We do. Unbelievable. That was terrible. Oh, you hate to see that. Okay, so let's see the damage that we've done. First of all, Brady Kachuk having an unbelievable year. 73 points for the kid in 82 games. Tyranny up there, Connor Brown up there, Bodker, Anisimov, Colin White with 45 and 81, which is good, and then Shabbat with another four with 40 point season in 82 games. I'm completely okay with that. In the AHL, we've got Josh Norris led the way more than a point per game, 66 in 58. What about Branstrom, who has 43 in 69? Who's up to a 77? Let's take a look real quick at what Kachuk is. An 88, he's up to an 88. Colin White's up to an 82. Shabbat is an 88. So there is some progression there. As far as team stats go, I can't believe we did this well. We finished six in the division. In the East, we finished as Boston, Washington, Philly, Buffalo, Toronto, the Lightning, Montreal, and the Hurricanes. We finished one point out. Wow. That's terrible. Our draft pick is going to be not good. We are... Going to be picking. We're not even in the top 10. Okay, we got to deal with it, guys. If we look at the playoff tree, it looks like we've got Nashville against Dallas, Winnipeg against Vegas, the Coyotes versus Edmonton, and a rematch of San Jose versus the Avalanche in the West. In the East, it's Carolina versus the Flyers, Capitals versus the Lightning. Sabres versus the Leafs and the Bruins versus Montreal. That's tough, guys. So I am going to end this episode here. We've got a lot of work to do. So here's what I want for you guys. If you guys have watched this episode, first of all, thank you. Leave me your comments if you think I th should change anything up as far as format goes. But here's the thing I want to know. First, who do you think we should make our captain going into next season? Whether it be I would either like Kachuk or Shabbat or someone you know, in the future or another player. Also, number two, what should we, should we go all out to get Lafreniere? And I'm talking about trading our two first round picks this year, as well as maybe a pit first round pick next year, or should we go after Byfield or should we just hold on to the picks that we've got and try and maybe move up a couple spots to make sure we get a medium elite, or should we go all out for Lafreniere, Byfield or both? And then those are the two things that I want to know. And leave your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think I should do. And the next episode will be our playoffs and off season, as it does look like the Belleville Senators will make the playoffs as they are cruising along here at 46, 22, and 5. So Branstrom going to get additional games played, which is key, as next year he's definitely going to be starting in the NHL, guys. So again, thank you for watching. I'm No Sleeves 12. This is my first franchise mode video. Let me know what you think, guys, and be sure to subscribe if you do like the content. Have a good one, guys.